What's up guys? Welcome back. My name is Daily Fix, and it has been a long time since I actually played any sort of Stellaris game. Uh, and I, I wanted to go back. I wanted to go back at this. And what better way to come back uh, than playing Star Trek New Horizons? Uh, as the Romulans, uh, we had a poll. We had a poll on YouTube. And this was the clear winner. Well, the clear winner. It's by 8% difference between the Romulans and the Terrans. So, yeah, we're going to be having a, a nice game. And, well, not really nice. We're playing on Grand Admiral. Nevertheless, but we are playing as the Romulans. The, uh, the it's a Senate. We are authoritarian, uh, which will give us more influence and work pop resource output. We are a xenophobe, so we kind of don't like anyone, which is fine. I'm 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 cool with that. I'm cool with that. Star base influence cost negative twenty percent, which is great because those star bases are quite strong, and we're going to be needing them. Uh, defense platform hold points. I've never been too much into defense platforms. Maybe this will be the first time. Uh, we'll just see. We are materialist, which is actually quite cool because we have the monthly alloys plus five percent. As well as the research speed plus 5%. So we're actually quite okay in research. As for our civics, we got the Tal Shari. Which means we got a plus 5 stability. And the admin cap plus 10. Now we'll see about admin cap. Uh, it's been a while since I've played. So I will be a bit rushed, uh, rusty. If you want to guide me in the future. And you're watching this on YouTube. Then uh, by all means join me on Twitch. And uh, I'll be thanking you for it. <laughs> we got the Cutthroat Politics. Edicts cost negative 20%. Uh, I, actually, I, I don't think this is too important anymore. Because, well, you can actually just do just a few of them. So, oh well. It just costs a bit less. Whatever. Uh, temperature preferred. So, we're going to be... Horrid, uh, Polar, and Temperature, of course. We got Strong. So, Army Damage plus 20%. I think this is actually quite useless. Uh, enduring leader lifespan plus 40. I like that. I like having old leaders. Uh, because uh, you can level them up way better. Uh, we're devious. And this one's so cool. Look at that. Research to all. Uh, bonus to all research. Plus 10%. So that. Curing with damage. Plus 15% in research. So. I, I never knew. I, I never thought that the Romulans were so heavy on research. But it's cool, it's cool. Uh, we are untrusty, yeah, untrustworthy. Of course, we are the Romulans. We can backstab whenever we want to. Uh, the origin is Indurgen, or Intrigue, sorry for that. Uh, which gives our pops a 25% less likeliness of shifting their edicts from the mainstream position. I like that. I don't like having too many of those. But at least, here we go. It has been more than 150 thousand years since our ancestors left Vulcan. Our original home were to escape the poisonous ideology of Surik and its followers. After a long journey, we found a perfect system to settle. We were no longer Vulcans. We were Romulans. Prouder than ever before. We have founded our star empire to protect our values. And we eventually... Yeah, eventually did prove Surik wrong. I like that. Go, go prove him wrong. Our empire has grown far more powerful and far more secure than Surik's Vulcans could ever hope to be. But we must not underestimate our enemies. We must remain vigilant. Our Senate and our uh, pre Praetor, can't really pronounce this, but it's the ruler, uh, must always choose the best course of action to protect all Romulans. Romulan Mantra. Misdirection is the key to survival. Never attack what your enemy defends. Never behave as your enemy expects. And never reveal your true strength. If knowledge is power, then to be unknown is to be more unconquerable. I like this one. I really do. So, uh, for those of you watching, I, I would really appreciate it if you just left a like on the first video. I'm not going to ask you this every time because I think it's dumb. Uh, but leave a like on the first video so I know that you guys want to have Stellaris back on the channel. Because if you don't, then 
I will just end up in uninstalling the game. Uh, so let's get going. Let's get going. Let's take a look. So um, what's new in the uh, Star Trek New Horizons? Um, which is cool. Hey, Genesis. Good morning to you, mate. The flagship system has been overhauled. You can now build either the military flagship or the science flagship. That's so cool. Each have unique bonuses and you are limited to one per class of ship. The Federation and the Terran Empire now have access to new fleet, uh, sh uh, fleet yard facilities that is available as a megastructure which allow you to build flagship and certain legendary ships. That is so, absolutely so cool. Flagships are now only billable by the uh, fleet yard. The early game Demon's Mission has been rewritten and pose a whole new challenge and playstyle for the Terran Empire. Oh man. Mm. Now I wanted to play Terrence. Uh, many changes made to the Dominion in line with the player feedback, including the desire to increase the number of Dominion members. Thank you, because the Dominion was so underrated. You know, they were the, they really needed a bit of a boost. Uh, they start with, I believe, um, these point defense weapons on the ships, and it was a complete disaster. The new challenge mode is available on Grand Admiral difficulty. Improves a a uh, artificial challenging acceptance for. Okay, um, I checked this and I can't select that, so I'm not sure where it is. But I'm sure I just missed it, and there is an option um, popping up maybe in a second or so. We'll see. New events expansion experience the uh, recreation of Star Trek Picard, Nemesis, First Contact, and few more. I kind of don't want any uh, Star Trek uh, Picard spoilers because I'm one of those people that have not seen it yet. I'm way too busy. So we hope you enjoy this Star Trek New Horizons mod brought to you by the PDG. So that's understood. Uh, we we'll go for the uh, recommended. Um, no, I don't need those to be. I, I like to be as 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 faithful to the lines possible, uh, as far as I am able to be possible. So let's take a look. So we're right here, and we got ourselves a bit of a vassal. Who are? Let's take a look here. Um, species. What are you? Are you a resident? So you don't start off with slaves. They're residents, so they can hop all over the place, which is quite good. Is there any right you want to give give them? Uh, no, they're actually quite good. Soldiers only. Colonization is allowed. I like that quite a bit. So we can actually give systems away with planets. However, they are the same type as us. They do provide us with a tiny bit of happiness. Army damage plus 20. So that's about the same. And defense army damage. I guess it could be useful, right? Uh, the Romans are, of course, the main species. We want to make sure that we colonize as much as possible. We'll have this guy go here and... Do we want to start building or do we want to start claiming systems? I think it is going to be the claiming of systems. So... Man, it's been a long time. Here you go. Survey into this direction because we know there's something over there. And just do this stretch... And we'll just see this one as well before we uh, forget about it. I don't want that. Oh, of course, we'll build more science ships. Uh, we need a bunch of them. So what's going on with the planets? Any changes? Doesn't look like this. We are lacking housing. So we do want to construct that. We're lacking ice. Water ice. So we're gaining 54. So about next tick, next month, we can actually make those. We'll, uh, we'll look into that. Let's make a sector. Uh, interesting. Mm, do I have sectors on? Yeah, I have sectors on. I will leave them on. Um, after a day, that will change. Our current leader is absolute trash. Crime plus 25 and soldiers produce plus 5%. I don't care for him at all. If I could choose, I would like to go for... Someone that either has technology or something else. So we do want to look into ships. We want to look into about everything. Uh, planets, let's skip a day. Because those planets should be coming back. There you go. Uh, merchant colony. Habitability, no, Ooh, that is trash. That is trash. Damn, that's probably going to be... Yeah, they, they suffer a lot of that. Ooh. Oh, that is not good. 
That is not good. What can we make here? Any specialities? Mm. No, nothing in there. Let's take a look. Max drones, agricultural, max commercial districts. Well, we'll take things slow, guys. I don't need a game that just rushes all the way. I'm also probably not going to be doing the frontier hospitals because eventually I will. Wa I want to AI to actually manage all of the systems. And uh, so far, these frontier hospitals, they start evolving. They will need a certain uh, strategic resource. And it ends up me destroying these buildings anyway. So we're not going to do that. We, what is the unity? Okay, that's quite okay. We're not going to be building any science on these. Although, are they restricted? That's one of the things that we wanted to do. How many can we build on one planet? Limit of the planet is one. So you want to build these on all of your planets. Uh, well, definitely, there will be the first one of the buildings over here. And we also need to build up cities. Uh, Terex. Fusion and stuff. So we'll focus a tiny bit on research first. Since there is little else to focus on. Let's take a look at traditions. We've got Frontier. Cunning. Oh, that seems so, so um, Romulan-like. Hmm. Subjugation, vassalization. I would like to make uh, ourselves like overlords of certain uh, empires. Uh, but we'll see about that right now. Uh, discovery could be good. Because I do like the 20% research speed. Uh, purity. Hmm. We'll just see when it when when we get there in 36 months. Uh, what else do we want to look in? Edicts right now. We're not going to be supporting the Vat Vash. Government ethic attraction and happiness plus one. Research grant, always nice. Getting an additional 5%. Uh, politics. We're currently on expansionist, which does outpost building cost negative 10% and colony development speed plus 15%. That's actually quite nice. Border friction, not so much. Eventually, perhaps we want to go to isolationist. No, the border friction is absolutely a disaster. But we can either decide if we're going to be role-playing this, or we're going to be for max conquest and see where it ends. Cooperative. No, I don't feel the Romulans are very cooperative. We, we kind of hate everyone, right? Monthly unity is quite nice. Yeah, I think eventually... Eventually, in for, for the sake of role-play-wise... It is either going to be belligerent or isolationist, not expansionist. So, war philosophy unrestricted. We do all of those nasty things. Resettlements allowed. Land appropriation allowed. First contact protocol is aggressive, of course. Uh, border closed. I really like that. Uh, refugees only are citizens. Uh, population control is allowed. Slavery, of course, allowed. Purging, uh, definitely allowed. Uh, healthcare policy. We'll look into that when we get um, the factions in which way, which direction we'll go for. We're going for the ones that we feel is more Romulan-like than anything else. Okay, before we get too far, I need to check if... Because I did change some folders for myself. If that is still going. Yeah, it is going. I'm sorry for that if that is quite awkward and weird. But it is what it is, right? So, here we go. What else do we got? Espionage! Oh, maximum espionage founding. Yes. Yes, we need this. We are Romulans. Uh, gender right, gender equality. I'm a huge fan of that. Bio event. In there. Okay, that's, that's, I guess it's cool. Education, healthcare, all of that stuff. That will go. As for now, anything else we want to check? Of course, we're going to be looking into the fleet designer and the fleet management. Uh, we got a lot of these to go through. Factions. Yeah, that's about it. Let's look at ships. Let's look at ship. That's the fleet manager, actually. We got some bird of praise. Mm, let's see. So, light plasma disruptors. So, it's more shield damage. Now, I know if you start like the... Uh, if you start like any of the Federation um, founding members, you're all very weak on shields. Uh, actually, high on shield, but low on the shield damage. So, having shields... Is going to be very, very important. Uh, shield damage plus 25% hull damage. Now, we'll we'll go for these uh, plasma torpedoes. 
uh, because I feel that's the most Vulcan. Uh, Vulcan. I, I'm going to mispronounce that very, very much. Uh, let's see. Do we need any of these? Trekking plus two. I love trekking. What's the power like? So it will make our ships a bit more expensive, but I like the trekking. We do need that. The Rhea class Bird of Prey. We'll get some upgrades on that. Yeah, we'll definitely go for the Tal Shahar operatives because the shield damage plus additional 10% is quite nice. Mm. I don't see the... Okay, maybe, maybe it's me. Guys. Oh, uh, wait, I see there. Maximum sustainable war faction. I was like, why? Why is this so damn expensive? So there was someone at the door. <laughs> well, it is what it is, guys. So let's take a look. Construction ship, Bird of Prey. We don't have too many options. Do we want to change anything to our construction ship? Uh, no, I don't think so. Don't need those. Oh, yeah, these are good. Let's take those. Can we change that? No, we can't. Hmm... I like the combat disengagement chance plus two. Uh, is it worth it? Paying an additional 10 for 2%. Well, you never know what's good for, right? So we'll take that. And slow that. Let's turn that off. Let's turn that on. Let's save this. Uh, we'll do the same with those. And remove them. Okay, no changes were made over there. This one... I don't like it that we can't change those. Why can't... I, I have this problem all the time. Where I can never really change the very first um, selection of those. Already exists for another ship. That's just annoying. That is really annoying. Oh well. Uh, upgrade you. Uh, construction ship. Where are you? There you go. Don't have any up anything for you. You'll just follow the science ship until we are ready. What kind of research do we want? Uh, the optical computer is nice. Uh, the components as well. I don't care much for the supply increases of those. Protein fabrication. Mm. Let's go with inertial dampeners. Ever uh, since they're, they're just more options than the computer. Uh, as for society. Military academy. No. Science station. Engineering station. And for engineering. Mm. Let's go for the... Actually, do we have those? Do we have that research somewhere? Research. Human sites, none of that. We'll go for the next truster, which is not a huge problem. And let's unpause, guys, finally. Finally unpausing. Uh, the extra challenge. Um, please note you will lose no game content by opting into this mod and can be, well... Let's maybe do that in a different one. Not right now. Not since I just returned. Let's go. So we're going to be waiting and we'll be waiting for more um, minerals. Which is weird. Actually, I know we need 200 more. We can sell some supplies. We're going to be co Q. Don't need your damn credit. What the fuck? Isn't this a lovely, lovely first part where I... Rush away from my computer every damn time because uh, people are at the door. Oh, that is so annoying. I wish they would just stop. Uh, let's sell these. Uh, we now have 400 minerals because I actually forgot to pause the game. Uh, we'll buy a few more though. And... Go away, Q. I don't care about that. Let us go here. Let's take the research option. Can we build that somewhere else as well? Uh, no, we already have it over there, Terex. 
Uh, we've got no unemployment, so let's not do this. We lack housing. Let's build those as well on Remnus, if possible. Yes, it is possible. That's quite nice. So, let's buy... Let's buy a few more of these science ships. One or two, and just hope that this go all goes well. We're quite on normal speed right now. We'll go to speed two. Eventually, we'll go and progress into speed three. And just see, for right now, the economy is actually quite good. I really like that. Uh, we do want to make sure that we get more alloys. Also, we want to be somewhat careful about where we uh, declare war upon. Since we want to be secretive, right? That That's what that's the goal. So, let's go there. Let's see, we survey that. Over this one, this one, there. And eventually end up here in this uh, in this nebula. Let's see construction ship. Well, getting the research might not be such a bad idea. Uh, also, eventually the trade value is something that we do want to get. But we'll have to wait until we got more minerals. Actually, I'll, I'm I'm actually guessing about going for the research first. Considering, well, I do want... We, we start on Grand Admiral and there's no scaling. And... That can be quite harsh. <laughs> it can be quite harsh. Since uh, they already start as, as a huge power. It's quite weird that it doesn't stop anymore right like this. So we got our research done. Now this is the one. Produces uh, 10 of those. Upkeep is 10. That's actually quite good. That is quite good. It's usually the building that you lack for the Frontier Hospital. I uh, can't really say well, what's the name of it right now. But eventually we'll see those. Actually, I can actually see that right here, right? Yeah, Cortisin. Cortisin is just annoying. Uh, diplomacy or slavery, leader costs and educational reforms. I'll go for the Cortisin. Since, well, maybe we'll have it and we can actually build those um, Frontier Hospitals anyways. As for you, can we can we start building here? What are we lacking? I think if we start moving over there, we by the time he gets there next month, this is done. At least that's what I'm hoping for. We'll get more research. That is uh, one thing for sure because we want to have it on all of my systems, and I want to get a different leader. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I guess there is no real cool option here. Apart from maybe this guy. Uh, him, get rid of him. We're going to get rid of you. And we're going to be selecting him. We'll buy no more. Uh, at least the building speed on the planets will be, be uh, a bit better. Uh, we'll just see. Influence. Mm. So while we wait for this to happen, let's let's look into where do we want to go for, uh, into first? Uh, supremacy, star base capacity plus two, increase army damage plus twenty five, ship building speed and, sh and building cost. Uh, we got the naval capacity and the ship upkeep, orbital bombardment, spirit of the hunt. We get more unity increase. Oh, interesting. And we get the war games. Admiral level cap plus one. Let us go for... We don't. We haven't met anyone. So these options are not really available. Sabotage foreign uh, planetary uh, infrastructure. Sabotage enemy flagship. Assassinate foreign leader. So we'll go for domestic suppression. And... Medium-wise, just 200. Or we'll try to hold off the next month. And, oh, uh, no, I oh, will have to wait for two months. Let's go medium. So, that's supremacy, pure, um, purity. Minerals from jobs improves by five. Shipbuilding speed, defensive war is increased. Interesting. So, when we are declared war upon, we can actually build these a bit faster. Uh, the chosen, stability plus ten on your planet. That's really nice. Uh, reduces crime by ten. And government ethic attraction. Damn. That, that's actually, that's quite a good one for us. Uh, Discovery is still one of the uh, all-time favorites that we have, right? So, get a an army research speed plus 20%. 20%. 
just adopting it uh, right away just gives you benefits about just, just getting those additional events going, which is quite good. Uh, adopting the Discovery Tree Tradition Increased Research Speed plus 5. Specialist pop output plus five, Tink Fang. We got leader, leader experience gain, anomaly discovery chance, monthly unity, and surveying speed is increased by. Yeah, definitely we go into discovery first, guys. Don't even look for the rest. Um, I think it's like discovery. Maybe cunning? Yeah, we do want to have vassals and tributaires. Hmm. And eventually just integrate them, right? So, we could go Frontier then, and then Supremacy, Cunning, uh, Purity, all of those guys. We'll just see, we'll see what's this. So, we got more research to be done. Uh, the Regan Crew. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? I don't... The Import of Luxuries... Well... No, we're still making 15, so that's not a huge deal. So let's go for the uh, the Ren uh, the Rem Remen crew Remen crew. Okay, so new scientist is done as well. What kind of scientist do we get? Physics research, society research. Okay, nice actually. Interesting. So she has benefits. Actually, he has benefits. To the research. Plus five. He's better than medical. Interesting. We'll buy him. Let's take a look at our research here. So currently this one's not really helping us. So if we select him. It is still 7%. We'll leave him over here, and the other guy is going to be flying the ship. You are being demoted, sir. Go away. Uh, surveying. So he's going to stop over there. I want you to go here. There, there, and just go out of the outer border. Uh, one, two, three, four, maybe just go five. And we'll build another one. Also a colonization ship. Wait a minute. We do have two colonizable worlds right here. And getting a tree. Damn, we got three colonizable well. Four if we count this uh, 60%. That is really nice. Okay, let's get started on that. We're going to be doing the Romulans. Uh, we'll try to colonize as fast as possible. Because I am a huge, huge fan of that. Territory, Territory has been explored. Quite nice. So uh, there is a Nimbus. Uh, let's take a look here. Um, there are more important matters. Since I think we are xenophobe, we are not going to look out for new life. Uh, we think it's more important to do other things than just waste our time looking for others. So, food from jobs plus 10% habitability and migration pool. That is actually not too bad. Car blockers and... Well, not too impressive other than that. How about this planet? Oh, wow. Anything cool in there, then? Oh, no. Well, it's large, but that's about it. Habitability, negative 10. Happiness, negative 10. Society research, plus 20%. Food from jobs. So, I either also a good job, uh, food planet. Anything else? Hmm... No, there's, there's some Xeno Zoo around here. And there is chemistry of white refineries, but we are not the Dominion, so we don't have our species rely on that yet. Is there anything cool in Remnus? Uh, Delithium Mines? Commercial District, Commercial District. No. How about Romulus? What do we have here? Unblocks the... Uh, some sort of a desert... Cool, Mac District. That's expensive to uh, clear, though. Toshra HQ. Okay, so there's segments where they have to be built on.
So even now we don't have a place where we can actually get quarters in. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll definitely wait with those frontier outposts. As for him, he is a vassal. I wish that he was like a tributary because I believe tributaries actually grow themselves. So incoming transmission, propulsion technology breakthrough. So my, my name is Chimera and I've been leading a team researching advanced propulsion technologies. I'm pleased to announce that we've made a substantial breakthrough, offering us a number of potential epiclones to pursue. So 